Hello everyone, student Dr. Siddiqui here. Today we're going to continue our discussion of the anatomy of the lower limbs. We're going to be talking about the medial thigh muscles. These are also known as the adductors of the thigh. So they adduct the thigh. These include the pectineus, adductor magnus, adductor longus, adductor brevis, as well as gracilis. We're going to discuss pectineus first. The point of origin is the iliopubic eminence. It inserts at the pectineal line of the femur and linea aspera, and its function is adduction and flexion of the hip joint. It's important to remember that this muscle is duly innervated, so it's innervated by the obturator nerve and the femoral nerve. The obturator nerve is the primary nerve that innervates the medial thigh muscles. Next muscle we're going to talk about is the adductor magnus. Its point of origin is the inferior pubic ramus, ischial ramus, and ischial tuberosity. It inserts in the linea aspera and medial epicondyle. Its function is adduction, extension, and flexion of the hip joint, and it can also internally and externally rotate the hip. And this muscle is also duly innervated. It's innervated by the obturator nerve and the tibial nerve. And as you may recall, once again, the tibial nerve innervates the posterior thigh muscles. Next, we're going to be talking about the adductor longus. The point of origin for this is the superior pubic ramus and pubic symphysis. It inserts on the linea aspera, and its function is adduction and flexion of the hip joint. Next is the adductor brevis. The point of origin for adductor brevis is the inferior pubic ramus. It inserts in the linea aspera and its function is adduction and flexion of the hip joint as well as external rotation. The point of origin for gracilis is the pubic symphysis, the inferior border. It inserts in the pes anterior, which is in the medial aspect of the tibial tuberosity and its function is flexion and internal rotation of the knee and can also adduct and flex the hip joint. It's important to know that all the medial thigh muscles are innervated by the obturator nerve. So in summary, all thigh adductors adduct and flex the hip. So it makes sense. Adductor thigh muscles, adduct. <laughs> Pectineus, adductor brevis, and adductor magnus it cause external rotation. Adductor magnus and gracilis cause internal rotation. And adductor magnus also can cause extension of the hip. Um, once again, it's very important to remember that all medial thigh muscles are innervated by the obturator nerve. Thank you for tuning in. I hope this video was helpful. Please tune in for more great videos.